it's over at Kimber Town. <clears throat> it's a strange light. I'm shaking. It's an early morning. You can see the lights on the top of a Cambertion. On that light, it's very strange. Early morning. <coughs> I'm shaking. I have no idea what is it. You can see that the lights on the top of my Cambertian. The lights is... It's no moon. back again a little bit further that's a full zoom have a look now sunrise nothing it's early morning what is it Now it disappeared slowly. I taped them. It was like that. This time it was there. On this side. I saw them a strange object. Just right there. To the debate that never seems to... Aliens, do they exist? And have they visited our planet? We will have the definitive answer. A group of believers in the US says yes. And they claim Obama's government is involved in a shocking cover-up. <laughs> we had a close encounter with them in the X-Files. They ruled the universe in Star Trek. We have come to visit you in peace. But aliens are not science fiction in some circles. Many believers are on a mission to prove the truth really is out there. The fact that we are not alone in the universe is one of the more important aspects of our time. Former NASA astronaut Edgar Mitchell has stunned the world by claiming aliens do exist. The universe that we live in is much more wondrous, exciting, complex and far-reaching than we were ever able to know up to this point in time. And uh, the fact we have wondered, were we alone in the universe forever? Only in our period do we really have evidence, no, we're not alone. Mitchell spoke out at the fifth annual X Conference, a gathering of UFO activists. The host of that conference was Stephen Bassett from the Paradigm Research Group. He claims the US government knows more than it's telling and he's urging President Obama to cough up the evidence. Will you release these records? Will you release all documents? But Obama is yet to deliver. What I know is there is life here on Earth and, and that we're not attending to life here on Earth.
It depends on uh, what these aliens were like um, and whether they were Democrats or Republicans. I like those topiaries on the front lawn of the White House. Mm, new. Yeah. And Stephen Bassett from the Paradigm Research Group joins us now. Stephen, good morning. Now, you established this group more than a decade ago. How convincing is the evidence that aliens do exist? Overwhelming. The, the researchers have been working on this since the 40s. Hundreds and hundreds of uh, dedicated citizens putting together the pieces, uh, gathering documents from the government. They built a case very early that the explanation for that phenomenon that was broke out in the late 1940s was extraterrestrial. However, our government, for national security reasons, uh, classified it and actually embargoed, uh, mm. embargoed the issue. Uh, did not want it to be a public uh, matter, particularly while the Cold War was underway because of the great risks if things were to become, how would you say, overly destabilized. That changed when the Cold War ended in 91. And at that point, uh, witnesses, members of the government, military agencies, what have you, started speaking out in various ways. Their numbers have grown over the last 18 years to include uh, members of the services, the intelligence agencies, generals, admirals, uh, high-level politicians, and uh, two astronauts, one Gordon Cooper, who for years tried to bring this issue out and convince the United Nations to get involved. And then over the last 10 years, uh, uh, Gore, um, Edgar Mitchell. Dr. Yeah. Edgar Mitchell has kind of taken the lead here, and he's asking for this embargo to end. What would be the motivation, Stephen, uh, these days for the government to suppress this information? Why would they want to cover up? I don't call it a cover up. I call it a truth embargo because a cover up implies illegality, and I don't believe the decision to embargo this information in 1947 and beyond was illegal. It, there were clear reasons to do it. During the Cold War, they had obvious reasons. They just simply did not want to have to deal with both that and uh, the public reality of extraterrestrials. Mm. Uh, since the Cold War, it's been a matter of getting the right circumstances together. Uh, one of the key elements was the right president. I don't believe that uh, Bill Clinton was someone that they were comfortable with, and I do not think they were comfortable with, uh, with George Bush. Uh, there were other issues going on, of course. It's a, it's a huge maneuver. The, the disclosure event, the acknowledgement of the ET presence by the governments of the world, possibly starting with the United States, I think will be the most profound event in human history. It has enormous political implications for our nation and the world in general. So you want to get that right. And I believe the circumstances are now right. The window is open very wide, and there are a lot of indications uh, on my side of the you know, ocean here where I'm paying pretty close attention that uh, this administration and the Democratic Party, I believe, made a decision that the next time they got in power, they would uh, end this truth embargo. And I think it's on their plate, and we think there's a good chance it could happen before the end of May. Wow. Well, let's hope that Obama is your guy. Stephen Bassett, we have to leave it there, but um, thank you very much for joining us, and good luck. Thank you. My pleasure. It's certainly going to have profound uh, implications for Australia's immigration policy, isn't it? We're going to have to change it yet again. Wow. Well, I mean, the, the aliens arriving on saucers, you know, queue jumping. I mean, there are people from planets all over the universe just, we'll just dying together. just in Christmas Island, I've told you that. <laughs> That's right. Straight ahead, Lindsay Lohan breaks her silence.